Hey, what's going on guys? Michael Douglas, Douglas Lawn Care here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Are you guys looking to plant a evergreen tree, plant a fir tree, plant a spruce tree, whatever tree you're going to plant, I would like to share with you my opinions on one type of tree that you should not plant. It's a little bit of my background. I have grown up on a Christmas tree farm, so I know quite a bit about um, evergreen trees, which ones are good, which ones are a pain in the butt, and which ones I personally would not plant. If I'm going to plant an evergreen tree in my property, what tree would it be? Um, it's going to be either a con color tree, uh, just because they are very less susceptible to diseases um, and they grow up in their full trees. Um, they do a great job at um, making like a fence line. So if you don't want to see your neighbors, they fill in very nicely. Um, so a con color tree, if you're looking for that, would be my number one choice. Um, I do like the look of white pines just because I'm used to going up north to Mackinac um, and there's just a ton and ton of white pines up there. So white pines are top on my list. They don't fill in quite as nicely as the con color tree, uh, but at the same time, just because that's where I've been for my whole life, going up north for vacation, they're all up there. Um, I really like that tree. Um, the number one tree I would stay away from um, and I'm out at my customer's house right here and actually over at the neighbors. He was out here the other day um, doing a great job making uh, this tree right here look really, really nice. Put in um, a wall around it, put in sand and stuff in it. Um, but I would not plant this tree. This is a blue spruce tree. And I wanna show you real quick why I would not plant a blue spruce. I am going to be a little bit sneaky about this just because the neighbor is home and I don't want him looking at me being like, why is this guy recording my tree? I don't know if you can tell or not, but I can zoom in just a little bit. As you guys can see on the bottom of this spruce tree, it has a whole bunch of needle casting already starting. Basically what's gonna happen is it starts at the bottom and it's gonna work its way up the entire tree. And eventually this tree is going to die. You might want to try and cut that bottom section off of this tree, um, but to be honest, without spending a whole lot of money, this tree eventually will die. So when I see on the Facebook pages, what's happening to this tree? Why is this tree dying? I just planted this tree a year later, it's dying. Is it a, guys, it's just needle casting. Look it up, Google blue spruce needle casting. There's a whole bunch of information about it. Um, yes, you can save the tree. It's very, very expensive. So like I said, I did grow up on a Christmas tree farm and we ended up pushing out, I believe two fields of blue spruce just because they ended up getting that disease, the needle casting disease. Um, huge, huge bonfire. I believe we took all those blue spruce and when I graduated from high school, I had a huge bonfire and the fire department came through the middle of the field and uh, was wondering what's going on because it was a huge stinking fire. So just wanted to hop on here real quick. Um, this guy spent a whole lot of time out here the other day. I did a great job. It looks really, really nice. Um, but by this time next year, I guarantee that tree will not look as good as it does now. Find a tree that you like, go on Google and see how susceptible it is to disease, um, like some sort of disease or bugs. Hopefully this really helps you out if you were considering planting a blue spruce tree. Um, beautiful trees one of my favorite looking tree and i mean if you want to plant it and take the risk go for it i'm not going to say don't plant it because they are beautiful trees um but just know there's a high chance that it's going to get needle casting especially in the state of michigan um, and you're gonna there's a very high chance that you're going to end up having to replace it i really hope i helped somebody out there and if i did please let me know in the comments below uh, if i swayed your decision one way or the other um please consider giving my channel a like. And if you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button as well. Thank you guys. God bless. Have a great one. Uh, I'm going to go keep mowing. So have a good one. God bless. Bye guys.